Today's deadly shooting in Oregon has many people wondering what would happen if someone opened fire at a Spokane school. It's a scary question to think about, but one Spokane police officers and sheriff's deputies trained for. KXY Force Kylie Cruz is live at North Central High. She tells us how Spokane is preparing for a possible mass casualty situation. Kylie? Well, Aaron, it's not something people want to think about, a deadly shooting at a school. But since the Sandy Hook tragedy back in December of 2012, there have been 74 school shootings around the country. It can happen at anywhere and at any time, and that's why Spokane Public Schools wants to be prepared for the worst. Two heartbreaking shootings in the Northwest in just six days, both less than 400 miles from Spokane. The reality is, is that it's not a matter of if, if it comes, it's a matter of when it comes. Jake Kernkamp with Spokane Police says the department prepares for the worst case scenario. In February, they partnered with FIRE to practice how they would respond to an active shooter scenario at a local school. Those type of trainings, unfortunately, in this day and age are becoming more and more common just so that we can become more prepared. The entire department trains quarterly with specialty teams prepping each week. One of the things the department has changed over the years, the way they respond to these types of incidences. Over the last decade, law enforcement has trained to, instead of having the traditional standpoint of containing, officers now are trained to enter the schools and eliminate those threats. If someone does open fire, Spokane Schools has this playbook to help them in the process. Some of the steps, moving uninjured students out of the area, away from potential harm, and setting up a command center. Mark Howard with Spokane Schools says the district does nine drills a year with students, three fire and six crisis drills required by law. We make sure that the students have practiced the same routine and that we are uh, and that they're following the directions of the staff members. But it's not just about preparing for the what if. The district has also beefed up security by installing additional cameras and improving locks on classroom doors. It's difficult to wrap your mind around what has happened in Seattle and outside of Portland. Howard says after tragedies like this, the district always re-examines their policies. I think we do it kind of organically sometimes, but I mean we are this is something that that in our world of security and law enforcement, it never stops. You're always assessing. Now, last year, the district voted to arm the uh, resource officers at the, in the school district. That is 14 officers, and that was voted by uh, the school board. Right now, I am told that they are still in negotiations with those resource officers, the, un the bargaining unit still meeting with the school district, and they hope to have those officers carry weapons by the upcoming school year. That is the fall of 2014. Reporting live tonight in Spokane, Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 News.